Alrighty guys, I'm KZ and welcome to a brand new episode of Minecraft Survival. Guys, I want to say thank you very much for the support on the first couple of episodes. And for, thank you very much for the comments, I appreciate that. It's actually been rather successful in my terms of things anyway. In terms of big success, no, not really, but in terms of my channel, it has been relatively good. I've been doing some mining between episodes, and as promised in the last episode, this episode we are indeed going to go ahead and make ourselves an AFK fish farm. So I've got pretty much everything that I need here. We're going to need a iron trap door, we're going to need a pressure plate, we're going to need a hopper, we're going to need some oak fences, we're going to need a couple of chests, we're going to need some note blocks, or just one note block, and we're going to need a water bucket. And pretty much that is everything that we are going to need. But before we jump into that, I actually want to talk to you guys a little bit about how fishing works in this game just so you can understand why we build these afk fish farms so one of the things that i've completely neglected up to this point is enchantments because you can enchant your tools to get certain things for example on the sword you can get an enchant called sharpness that just basically means it does more damage on the pickaxe you can get stuff like efficiency which means that your pickaxe will mine blocks faster than it does previously also you can get stuff like fortune which means that for stuff that drop things so like when we mine a redstone where are we when we mine redstone we get these redstone dust when we mine coal we get one coal however when you've got fortune it increases the chance that you will get more it's really handy when you're using diamonds and of course all our tools can get on breaking on them which just means they last longer and the best way to get these enchants or the easiest way to get these enchants anyway is through the enchanting table but that means that we got to go wrangle up some cows we got to grow some wheat uh, we got to get some sugar cane and it's this whole big long hassle. So what a lot of people do is because you can only get certain enchants using the enchant table is they build a fish farm, an AFK fish farm. Because when you fish, you have a chance of fishing up a enchanted book and then you can just combine the enchanted book with whatever you want. So normally when you fish, you right click like so, you, you throw this bobber out. We did do this at the end of the last episode, but just in case people haven't watched the last episode, I thought I'd do this. And you can see the particle effects and... Eventually you'll see a stream like that go to it, and then when it dicks under, when it don't, when it ducks under, I made that sound like a wrong word there, you get something. We got a water bottle, which was nothing special. Now the most common, ooh, there's a sound effect for that. I never heard that one before. The most common thing to get when fishing is fish. Really? There we go. Like I said, is fish. You'll get a lot of fish. But, fish for long enough, and you will get stuff like enchanted books, you'll get some uh, pretty naff armor, you'll get a various amount of different things, but it's mainly the enchanted books that we want, so we can make our weapons and our tools a little bit stronger. You can also get mending books from this, and mending is quite a difficult enchant to actually get, otherwise you need to trade with your villager, or find it in a dungeon throughout the game. And dungeons aren't exactly plentiful, are they? You know. You can search hundreds and maybe find one. So this is the most reliable method to get it. Oh, we got a puffer fish, which is good. So yeah, and we're going to build that here. And what the AFK, where are we? I've got a big hole around here somewhere. Haha, here we are. We're going to build it here. And what this will do is it will automatically, if we hold around the right click button, we'll keep reeling out. Okay, as you can see, it's constantly wheeling out. We'll do that, and it'll get caught. And when it gets caught, it won't be able to do anything until it captures something. And when it captures something, it'll automatically reel in. And all we have to do is sit here holding right-click. So, as always, this is not my own design. I mean, the, the fish farm itself isn't mine, but what we're going to put around it, you know, the building and everything, the building will be mine. But the actual fish farm is something that I've stolen from Exumavoid. He's one of the hermits. Big big youtuber we got over 1.4 1.04 million subs i've got the video up right now and i'm using his fish farm i will go ahead and leave a link down below if you want to learn more about this and whatnot because again i am stealing somebody else's design and i want my torch back i am going to go all the way down here just to get that torch because i want that torch it's my special torch it's my happy torch it makes me feel good inside it gives me that warm fuzzy feeling oh it's a lovely torch i love my torch good torchy good torchy i think i'll even throw you up I'll go back down again now. Okay, enough about the torch. So we're going to put this together right now. 
But again, I just want to say thank you guys for the support on the first two videos. I really do appreciate it. It really does make a difference when you guys like a video and when you guys watch a video and especially when you leave a comment the youtube algorithm goes hey we like this video and i won't have to sacrifice a rainbow chicken no one wants to see me sacrifice a rainbow chicken okay so again most of the stuff we need is here and it's going to be very very simple and very very easy but i am going to grab myself some dirt just briefly and i think i want to grab myself some oak logs and some more iron because i want to make up a few more chests uh, so I think we'll go with, this should get me eight chests, cool. And I'm going to one, uh, I think we'll go with five hoppers. Okay, da da da, five hoppers, boom. And that gives us five chests, so I actually want some more chests. I don't think five is going to be enough. Let's make some more. And when we get our tools, we'll be able to get the yeah, cool. Okay, and then I got a block, yes, cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do to begin with is I'm just going to fill in the big hot wall a little bit. Just so we've got some room to work with. Because right now, I can't reach up to the top. But I'm only going to fill in a little bit of it with the dirt just so we've got it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, uh, let's go to here. That'll do. Perfect. So, let's talk a little bit about modded Minecraft just briefly while we fill this in. Because I don't know if I'm going to be doing modern minecraft on this channel at the minute i'm thinking of doing it on stream because i have wanted to stream for some time but okay so now what we're going to need to do is get into this so yeah that was brief wasn't it that was very briefly and abruptly ended let's get back to that so i'm thinking of streaming over on mixer again and i'm thinking of doing modern minecraft over there i'm not sure yet we'll see Okay, so what we're going to want is we're going to want a couple of these chests. So if there's something you guys would like to see, please let me know. Okay, so there we go. We've got our double chests. And what we're going to want is we're going to want a hopper feeding into these double chests. Okay. And that's the start of the fish farm. Very easy, very simple. Then we're going to want an oak fence. Like so. Yep. Actually, this should be moved one in this direction. So let's just... Put a hopper there. Put this here. Okay, fine. Be pedantic. See if I care. It's one of my favorite words, but it's one that not a lot of people use, pedantic. I don't even know where I got it from. <laughs> but I love it. I love it. Okay, there we go. That's very simple. Now, what we need is we need a hole here. So, I'm going to use some wood just to make this hole look nice and spacious. So, we're going to want to put... Oops that there like so let's pop this here like so like so and can i there we go perfect so this is mostly almost done this is one of the simplest afk fish farms that i have ever seen in my life so we're going to do that i'm going to put a block on top of that like so and then we're going to take our iron trap door we're going to position the iron trap door there we're going to take our water bucket and we're going to pop it here and if i'm looking at this right that is pretty much it now exuma does use a slime block here but that doesn't really make much of a difference i just think that changes what this nope i don't know why he's using a slime block maybe the slime block does matter let's hope it doesn't and then all we need to do is sand literally, I think it, he stood here. Let's try this. And then aim the fish. I'm missing something. Of course I'm missing something. Let's take this pressure plate and pop this pressure plate right there. Okay, so hopefully this should work. Let's find out. Just holding the right click down here, doing nothing else. And we got some splashes. So the splashes get a little bit more ferocious. Is that something coming towards us? Now it can take up to 45 seconds, I believe, to catch the fish. There we go, we caught something. And did that go into our inventory? No, it did not. So if we look in here. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a good fishing rod. Look at the scene I'm breaking. We can certainly use that. But you can see just how simple and easy that is. And all you need to do is literally. Yeah. 
Hello. Uh, we got a sea pickle. We got a few things that you will trade for. Nothing that I want. But, but you know, thanks for just stopping by. Casey appreciates that. Appreciates you just running into his fish farm and ruining the thing of breaking it in an episode. Now, the last time I built a fish farm, I, it didn't work so good. And we end up going the route of villages and enchanted books. But I do definitely like the AFK fish farm. So yeah, so the first thing that we want to do with this AFK fish farm is we want to try our very best to fish up a mending fishing rod. But yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get some more work done on this, guys, and I'll be back to you in just a moment. Welcome back, guys. And I've got a little bit more, and I've cleared some space out, and I thought we'd start the building together. So we're going to continue very much with the same aesthetics that we used over there remember we're building a nice little road here so i'm going to start with just some wooden pillars like we had over there along with some of these and i think i'm going to bring that right up against it and then i think what we're going to do is i definitely would like a block here so let's definitely going to do that and i think what would be nice actually is if we had a couple of fences there and a couple there so let me grab a crafting table i actually have one huh I didn't actually was going to say that I didn't think I had a crafting table. But it looks like I do. Oh, you know what we could do, actually? Let's make up some iron bars. I don't use iron bars nearly as much as I should. But. Do they look all that good? Do these connect fences? No, they don't. So we could literally run those all the way back there. I don't think that would... I don't think that would break the farm. It may do. Three. So how many have we got here? We got one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then a pillar. Now one interesting thing to note is this works better if it has sky access. You don't need sky access, but it does work better. So I'm going to just bring this up a little bit. We may add some windows to this later because it's going to look very barren if we don't. But for now, let's just worry about placing these blocks in. And we'll worry about torching it up on the inside in a minute. Wait, I've got my special torch. Let's use my special torch. It really just isn't special. It's just, I'm just calling it the special torch. I think you can put torches on these now. Yes. Cool. There's nothing special about the torch. This is my super special torch. It's my special place. And of course, I'm going to deal with it down there, but not just yet. Not just yet. Okay, so let's go up. I think we'll go up one more. Then we'll start the roof. And for the roof, I'm going to want some stairs, which I'm going to need to go back and grab some. So, yeah. So let me get a little bit more work done on this building. I just wanted to bring you back for this bit, just so you at least got to see something. And another thing that I forgot to mention about this fish farm is it's also going to supply us with a with a renewable food source early in the game. Which is something, as of right now, we don't actually have access to. I don't know what he's doing. I think he's just gone invisible. They go invisible, if I remember rightly. Let's just grab a piece of dirt from here, just so I can put it under there, and I'll grab a door as well. So yeah, let me get to work on the roof, and I'll come back to you in just a moment. You know when I said just a moment? I realized when I looked up from ending the clip, our house is defended. Now, this technically isn't a village, but this is going to be kind of a um, bad idea, but let's try and take out one of these. At least they're in each other. Yes. Oh, we got a crossbow. Okay, so now we've got the bad omen effect, but I can't pick up the banner, which is great. I'm going to need to get some milk to get rid of that, but... That's okay, let's put these away. We actually got uh, two crossbows. That's sweet. So I've not played around too much with villagers. I've had a couple of raids and whatnot, but nothing nothing that I would say overly special. So, yeah, let me get myself together, guys. I'll be back with you. Welcome back, and I've got it in place. As you can see, it looks really nice. There's no windows in it yet. We will get those put in uh, in the near future. Although, for right now, I'm kind of happy with the way that it's turned out. And what I want to tackle now is, first of all, I want to put a door here. Then what I want to do is I want to go ahead and just slab up the roof a little bit. And I'm going to put this on the 
bottom half of the block, I think, just so nothing can spawn there to save me a little bit of lighting up. I did mean to grab some torches, but I, I completely forgot. So we'll pop those on the bottom side of the block. Like so. And what I want to tackle is the bad omen effect that we've got. I want to get rid of it. And I'll show you how you can do that in just a little while. But for right now, let's go ahead and just pop these on. Unfortunately, looks like we're a little bit too close to pop them on this side. But we can do it this way. That's good. Cool. And there we go. We have the AFK fish farm. Now, I think we'll go ahead and we'll pop a window here. Do I want one there? And I think one there. Which would mean taking these out like so. Just particularly picking where we want our windows. I don't know if I want to put any on the front or the back. I don't think I do. I think we'll keep them just on the sides for now. So let's get one in there, one in there. And then we got one opposite here. Now I don't have any glass on me. I actually need to get back and get some glass. So we can pick up some torches then. Because we do need to torch up the inside. And I believe it was the birch wood that we were using here. So let's pop that there like so. Pop that birch wood in there and in there like so and then we could go down here like so and grab anything that we fish up and we will work out these these lower rooms later on i want to i don't know exactly what i want to do down there but i think i want to have some sort of auto sorter eventually to go from this chest to an auto sorter but for now i just want the storage so yeah okay let's get this bad omen effect taken care of so if we press e now we get rid of this well, how do you get rid of this that nope uh, no, it's this book, isn't it? Yes. You'll see we got the bad omen effect. So if we go into a village, there's we're going to start a raid, basically, if we have the bad omen effect. And we don't want that. Especially if I find a village. I haven't found one yet, but if I find one, I don't want the bad omen effect. I don't want my villagers to die before I've even got a chance to, to sort it out, you know. So we're going to get rid of it. And just like with any stat affections that we can get, like poison, like, I don't know, levitation, all of that kind of stuff. Whether it can be cured simply by drinking milk. Gone. That easy. So maybe it'd be worthwhile keeping some milk. I wish they'd add milk as a uh, placeable block. That'd be pretty cool. But I do know the next update has bees in it. Which is kind of shocking to be honest. I thought they'd tackle dungeons and stuff. But bees... I suppose it's because they've updated some parts of the game. They want to add some new things to the game now. So I guess that kind of makes sense. In a way, I did put those in. Yes, I did. This wandering trade is still chilling here, look. Uh, but we don't have any emeralds to trade with them, unfortunately. But maybe we will in the near future. There we go. You want to just chill in my house? Then go right ahead. It's a lovely abode. I don't mind. I don't mind. But here we are. We have the AFK fish farm in place, which means tonight I can leave this running and we can get all our lovely spoils from here. Now... It would be nice to have a window here, but I'd have to put the window at the side, I think, here. Uh, shall we do that? I don't know how this is going to look, because that's not where I want to do it. But then I need to check with the modifications that I've made that I can actually do this. Still fish here. And I do need to take out the... There we go. I rather like that. There's still some detailing I want to do on this house. I'm not finished with it yet. But I do like that. We could even put a window. Do I have... I have two. We could put a window in. One, two, three there. Now, I don't know how this is going to look. I genuinely don't. But let's have a... It can't hurt just to put one in the sea. Ooh, i got to say I do like that. I do like that. We've got enough just to do on the other side. Which is awesome. And we go here, 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 there, grab that. Normally I'd go up for that block, but it's one cobblestone and I'm pressed for time. So there we go, I like that. I like that that's just one window. It's a cheeky little window and I like it. There we go. Although it does mean that uh, I think it'd be nice to have a bush there. I don't think I have any iron on me. No, it's back in my place. Why, why would I put iron away? But yeah, there we go. We did put a door in, yeah. Okay, so let's try this. There's one thing that I want to do, though, is I want to jump in onto here. I want to jump on this pressure plate, and right above this pressure plate, I want to take out this block, this block, this block, 
and this block. Now you may wonder why am I doing that? Well, it's simple really. You see, oh, well, can I, I can't, I can't pillow up here, can I? No. You push faster and quicker when you have a, whatchamacallit, a block. Uh, no block above it, sky access, that's what I'm going for, when you have sky access. So we're just going to stand here, we're going to push out our bubble and just hold this down like so. Let's see what we get. I mean, I'm sure we're going to get some nice little stuff from here. So one of the things I like to do, we'll wait until this is done. There we go, look. So let's just have a look at what we got. Well, we got something. Oh, of course, it's going to end up in the bottom chest, isn't it? That's the way that hoppers work. We got a raw card. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself one fishing rod. We're going to go make a new fishing rod, providing that I have the string and stuff. And I'm going to let that fishing rod expire. I'm going to go ahead and use it all up and see what we get. Just to finish off this video, I think it might be a nice way to end the video. Uh, one, two, three. One of those. And actually, you know, we'll take a few more of those because I don't seem to have any torches here. Um, and grab that. Okay, so let's make ourselves up a fishing rod. I can never remember if it's three sticks and two string. It is. And I want to definitely get myself some... Oh, these llamas. I'm going to have llamas in my living room at this rate. That does look a little bit... Then again, I don't know if the stairs count as a full block. They, they might not, actually. But... Okay, fine. Well, well, I'll take it. I'll take it. So I do want to torch up down here for starters. So let's go down here and torch. Now this is a strange recording, this one that I'm doing today, because I'm actually recording this the day it's going to go up. Um, I've actually had a, a bit of bad luck over the past couple of days, to be honest with you. I did start recording the other two videos last week. But then my electric meter, you know the thing you put your key in to, to give you power in the UK? Well, it decided that my key wasn't going to work. And they were going to send someone out within 24 hours. This was Wednesday. They sent someone out Sunday. After many, many, many disgruntled phone calls. Many, many disgruntled phone calls. And a, a lot of uh, threatening to disembowel them. Later, they finally arrived. So, this is how I personally like to do this. Um, yeah. I'm looking around for something that I can use. So, I like to go into my options. I like to go into controls, and if we scroll down to what is the right button here, use place block, I like to change this to my enter button on my keyboard. So what that means is if I sit here, what I can do is I can go ahead and I can take my salt pot because it's the only thing that I've got heavy enough to hold my enter key down, and I can just plonk it on my enter key. Like so. And that is it. My hands are now off the keyboard. And it is to do now you can see this fishing rod is almost broke but this has been our very first real fishing rod that we've done the afk fishing session with so i wanted to sort of frame this in an immortal frame so it would last this length of the series so let's go and do that now i think i've got a piece of leather i think i do i may not i may need to go and get some leather uh, nope turns out i don't actually have any leather 
I have somehow misplaced a door, although, that being said, there is a chest over here that's got some stuff in it. But I don't think I ever moved over. Maybe I did, I don't see it. Go swore we left a, a chest over here somewhere. Yes, there it is, I knew we did. Now, I haven't looked at the loot that we've got yet. Yes, there's some leather here. Cool. Now, I've not looked at the loot we've got. I thought we'd look at it together and see what this first fishing rod got. It took about half an hour to whittle down that fishing rod, so it lasted a reasonable amount of time. I managed to have something to eat and a munch while I was waiting for it, which was good. So, let's just get this fishing rod framed. Uh, we're hoping for a fishing rod with mending. That's the hope here. But whether we'll get that or not is another question entirely. So, let's go ahead and just pop this fishing rod up here. And, nope, don't do that. There we go. So now our first fishing rod, our first real fishing rod anyway, our first fishing rod is back in the chest. But this was the first one we AFK'd with. So the first rod. So let's have a little walk. I don't think we'd have got up to this chest. No. So we haven't filled a chest yet. But we got all of that. So we got some ink sacks. We got a trip wire hook. We got a name tag, a lily pad, two tropical fish, leather boots, some puffer fish, raw salmon, and some raw cod. So we actually have ourselves some food. Now we didn't get any treasure, which is unfortunate. Um, but obviously, I'm going to keep fishing over the course of the next day or so. As and when I get the opportunity to. And see exactly where we get to with that. And hopefully we'll get some decent stuff. But I am going to go ahead and do one thing before we go. I want to create myself an anvil. And that's very easy to do. All we need is three pieces of iron. And I can never remember. I believe it's the iron on the bottom. I always get this confused. Yes, that's right. And this will just allow us to, to repair things. So if I grab um, my fishing rod. What did I do with the fishing rod that had look at the scene I'm breaking on it? What did I do with that one? Did I leave it back here? I mean, knowing me, I probably did. I have a dab hand for doing stuff like that. But yeah, it didn't take too long. We, we're hoping that it rains. So we'll pop that in the corner, and I probably did indeed leave this in here, didn't I? Yes, I did. So you can combine two fishing rods to get a better one. And there we go. Easy enough. And then we can use this, and this will get us some more stuff. But yeah, guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode. So if you've enjoyed the video, please do consider leaving a like. It really helps out the channel, and I really do appreciate it. So please do leave that like. And click subscribe if you want to see more from me. Guys, I'm Casey. I want to thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.